Welcome back everyone, Toy Shus here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. Today we're hanging with the Marvel Legends team for their Fan First Mondays, Ryan, Dwight, and Dan. Unfortunately, Dan's audio did not work, but he was there he was there with us in spirit. A lot of great reveals, a lot of stuff, of course, we already kind of knew, but there are some surprises towards the end, some fun ones here and there. So we'll just get right into it. But I will say, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, Daily News Updates, Action Figure Looks, Old Toys, New Toys, guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Now, to start it off, I'm sure everyone went yesterday, Target, Sunday, well, Walmart put them out early, but uh, yeah, the new Shang-Chi wave came available. I was able to pick up a few, really got that MODOK figure, to be honest with you. I'll be getting these uh, when we when I find them. <laughs> but the Build-A-Figure is Mr. Hyde, so the one I really like the most, that and Death Dealer, and I like that hologram Iron Man, but yeah, they went through them really quick. They went over Shang-Chi, they went over his father, Wen Wu, Dwight even pulled out weapons of his own, and just FYI, these are not uh, Hasbro-themed weapons, right? Dwight wins. Marvelality. And then they showed off other characters from the wave, all of which, they look okay. I just, I need to see the movie. I need context, but I am excited to see it. I really like that trailer. And they briefly went over Mr. Hyde as well, who looks like a burly... Big old figure based on the Mr. Fix-It Hulk that came out last year. They briefly talked about the Target exclusive Marvel's Katie. She's being played by the actress Aquafina, And yeah, it comes with a really weird th creature thing. It's actually, that's the coolest part I think about it, <laughs> to be honest with you. And then they briefly went over Disney+. Plus. They went over WandaVision, The Falcon, The Winter Soldier, and maybe a little surprise for Loki, if you haven't grabbed it already. And just an FYI, all links in the description below. I'll do Amazon and Entertainment Earth. I highly recommend them. Thanks for using my links. It helps my channel to grow. But yes, the Walmart exclusive Captain America, like in that episode where that kid gets it signed by, you know, Walker, that I think is cool. They recreated the packaging there. This is actually a very cool figure. I like what they did with his character. I don't think we stayed with him long enough for Captain America, but uh, yeah, it's interesting to see where he is now, and there will be spoilers in this, just FYI, so now that he's US agent, there might be a figure coming up for him as well. They keep pushing this Falcon and Winter Soldier shield, man. Not my thing, but uh, is a very nice shield. I actually got to play with one of these at a uh, San Diego Comic-Con event one time. It's super heavy, it's really nicely designed, but, um, Yes, it's not my thing. Also, this. <laughs> Monopoly. Love Monopoly, but uh, I'll just play it with the good old, uh, you know, Monopoly guy in the car, in the in the shoe. <laughs> I don't need Bucky's arm as one of those totems. Talking about WandaVision. WandaVision, Scarlet Witch, brand new figure for her. Also, the white Vision. That was, like, another thing. I mean, I'm glad that Vision will come back eventually, but... Um, yeah, and it's from the comics and such. This is a new reveal, so we got a look at Loki coming soon from his appearance in the Disney Plus show. I think that hits in June, what, June 11, something like that. Tom Hiddleston looking good. Now, he's in a suit, a look from the show. They did say that there will probably be more Loki figures based on the show coming soon. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. If this ain't your cup of tea... There will be other Loki figures, plus like we have how many Loki figures already? So we have thousands of Loki figures. This is just Tom Hiddleston in the suit. <laughs> and he does have like what the Time Variance Authority uh, imprint on his jacket. So I really don't know much about the show. I like to keep, I don't even watch anything now. This is the best way to watch these shows. I'm telling you right now, just uh, don't, don't pay attention to anything, especially those like gotcha kind of things on YouTube, like, oh my god, you missed this little thing in the video, oh my god, no, they never show anything. You have uh, Brule, right, actor, what's his name, uh, yeah, Brule, that's, that's how I know him, Falcon the Winter Soldier's Zemo, he actually looks pretty good, I'm glad Zemo showed up in some capacity, Falcon and the Winter Soldier I think ended pretty strong, and I'm really excited to see where they take Bucky, we got a new reveal for the Winter Soldier, or White Wolf, or... Just Barnes, right? He uh, he did a great job. Sebastian Stan, very cool to have a new version. He's got that Wakandian arm going on, gold, black. He looks good. And then we have our first look at the U.S. agent 
figure as well briefly appeared in the very last episode falcon and winter soldier but yeah working for madam hydra dubbing him the u.s agent walker is back and we'll see where he's gonna go next but the big reveal and just obviously come on this is the new sam wilson captain america don't call him the black falcon he is captain america and they did that really nicely in the show exciting great suit like just one of the most comic book accurate suits I think I've seen them do. It's amazing. He looks stellar in that suit. Anthony Mackie rocking it. So very happy to have a new Captain America on our shelves. Awesome to see. And then if you're wondering, now this is where people are going to go, wait a minute. So, and I'm kind of wanting them, you know, I'm kind of like, all right, well, it's not my favorite. It really isn't. But the Build-A-Figure is back to being Build-A-Wings, much like we saw with Spider-Man Homecoming with the Vulture. And it's not my favorite. I really think that they should just give the Falcon his wings, right? Maybe put a stand in another box or something to that degree. I understand they're not being big characters to kind of go off of. It does look nice. The wings are great. He's got a little stand plus a stand for Red Wing. It supports him sturdy that's what they're touting it as dwight showing it off you know there's a joint system in the back for red wing you can fold sam wilson's wings down to really give him some mobility kind of do the thing where he kind of pierces the wings down and i think the my favorite part is you're able to put the shield on his back just like in the show so not my favorite sort of deal when it comes to build a figure and i really think that they should just put the i the, i look that's just my thoughts i know everything else that goes into it but um I, I mean i always hope for a figure that's all so again if you need these depending on when you see these videos i'll have links in the description below and you can grab them off amazon and entertainment earth and then they had some tidbit teases for us so they showed off 2018's hercules reveal right and then they showed the marvel universe more traditional look for marvel's hercules so coming soon later this year some way some form some fashion we're going to be getting a six inch Marvel Legends classic looking Hercules figure. So again, that's pretty cool. And then they showed off Human Torch. They showed off the Walgreens version, Super Scroll version that came out as well. And then of course, you know, I'm just privy to this because uh, I got to reveal it. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge, Marvel 375's Human Torch figure. So, again, later this year, we're going to be getting a classic Johnny Storm Human Torch figure, which looks rad. Now, I know you could have bought Reed Richards from Walgreens and swapped the heads, and he would have had it long ago. I didn't do that, so now I get to do this. <laughs> again, Hercules, Johnny Storm, at some point, in some fashion, in some way, later in a Marvel Legends line exclusive, some way, I don't know. Anyways, they also teased some upcoming troop builders, Hydra, AIM, you know, they also have the Hellfire Club. They showed off this figure. Dwight was saying, you know, hey, just here's a little tease. I, I'm pretty sure, was it a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent? Uh, stop me if I'm wrong, but I think I have one of the, like with the Nick Fury that came with the multiple heads and Dirk Diggler or whatever, whatever his name was. I forget, but uh, yeah, it looks like an AIM soldier. Then they also showed off this atomic hairdryer gun. Speculate below. That's That's all I can really say. And then that really just wrapped it up for the marvel legends team so that was really nice to see great presentation as always ryan dwight dan thank you so much looking forward to a few of the figures again the the build a wings thing is is not my favorite really looking forward to that johnny storm so we'll see what's in line for the marvel legends this year come 2021 so i'm gonna leave you guys with that as always drink some great coffee eat some great food but most importantly remember we're keeping the whole burly chest weird manscape and all that kind of stuff going with a new wolverine reveal a very shirtless wolverine and when we do let me know what you found i'll talk to you guys soon adios